Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. SwitchBot is back with another brand new smart home device, this time in the form of the SwitchBot lock, a smart lock that works with your existing door lock without making any modifications, making it suitable for owners and renters alike, whilst coming in at a relatively attractive price point. Let's take a look at how it works, the features it has and what it works with. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building a website, whether you need a blog for sharing smart home tips and tricks, a shop for selling a product or somewhere to show off your portfolio, Squarespace has you covered. They have amazing looking templates to get you started, which you can then customize until your heart's content with their intuitive drag and drop style interface. And all websites are automatically optimized for both mobile and desktop to give your users and customers the best experiences, not to mention their award-winning 24 seven support. Squarespace takes the hassle out of building an online presence so that you are free to just keep on creating. Check out Squarespace for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash everything smart home to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain name using code everything smart home. And thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Full transparency as always, SwitchBot did send me this lock for me to review. So in typical SwitchBot fashion, as we've come to expect from them by now, the SwitchBot lock is a wireless retrofit device that can be added to a wide variety of different existing locks to make them smart without having to make any permanent modifications. So no drilling and no screwing required. The SwitchBot lock is a matte black plastic design rather than the white plastic that we usually see with SwitchBot, which I feel is a good choice that will suit being on a door better than the white wood. Up at the front, we have the hand cylinder which can be used to operate your lock manually, just like you normally would, so you don't lose out on that existing functionality, which is really nice. And we also have an indicator light too for seeing the status. On the top of the unit under the SwitchBot logo, there is a removable cover where two CR123A batteries are located, giving it up to six months of battery life. The SwitchBot lock uses Bluetooth 5.0, with AES 128 bit encryption for added security, has support for ALEXA and Google Home, and smart things if you use the SwitchBot Hub Mini with it, and it has a price tag of £130 here in the UK and $99 in the US. Not sure why there is quite that big of a price difference in the US, but it is unfortunately there for us UK customers. The cool thing I really like about the SwitchBot lock is not only how easy it is to install in like literally 30 seconds, but it's also suitable for quite a wide variety of different lock styles. The SwitchBot lock should work with pretty much any door that uses a cylinder lock with a key or a knob style. And if you do have a knob style, the SwitchBot lock has different adapter knobs for your knob that come in the box that can do different knob thicknesses. So no matter which knob you have, the SwitchBot lock can reach out and grab your knob and turn it. You get three different knob adapters in the box along with eight different adapter replacements where you can pull off your knob and turn the cylinder directly depending on your brand of lock. It also works with different knob lengths by having an adapter plate that can get longer or shorter to accommodate all knob lengths. <laughs> Professional. In all seriousness though, the SwitchBot lock is super easy to install and get working in under two minutes since you just peel off the pre-applied double-sided tape and stick it to the door. Just make sure you line it up properly because it has a seriously good grip once it's on there. You know how you always get those people saying that smart locks are insecure because thieves can access the lock from outside and tamper with them to try and gain access? Well, I'm not gonna try and argue the validity of that either way but the SwitchBot lock does not have that problem since, as you will have noticed, the unit is only installed on the inside of the door, making the outside of the door look just like a regular door lock because, well, it is just your regular door lock, so there is nothing to tamper with on the outside of the door, which is arguably a great feature for this device. Adding it to the SwitchBot app is really easy too. The lock was actually auto-discovered by the time I'd opened the SwitchBot app, and is immediately added. And then it will take you through the calibration process where you manually set the lock and unlock limits 
by turning it by hand and that is pretty much all there is to the setup. Really seamless and they seem to be getting even better at what was already an easy setup process in the past. Once a lock has been added through the app, you can then tap to lock and unlock the door, see the battery status and then manage a few different inbuilt settings. You can set up audible alerts for if you forget to lock the door after a certain amount of time of being unlocked, as well as a door ajar warning. And you can also configure auto locking that will kick in after the door has been shut for a set period of time or after a certain amount of time of being unlocked. The switch belt lock will also stop auto locking after the battery percentage dips below 20% in case you happen to get locked outside of your house when the battery dies. And the neat thing about the switch belt lock is because it's essentially just turning your existing door lock without replacing it or modifying it, no matter what, you can always use your original key to hopefully get in and get into your house that way if the battery did ever die. You can also pair it to a SwitchBot NFC tag, which is handily included in the box, nice touch. And that always allows you to unlock or lock the door by tapping your phone. So for example, you could have one in your car that you could tap your phone when you leave your house and it'll lock the door and then have one inside of your house so that when you come back in, a quick tap will lock it again. It's kind of a shame that there is no option for a geolocation or proximity type of feature where it will auto lock on leaving the house or something similar, but unfortunately there is no such feature at least yet. And other than the NFC tags, there doesn't appear to be any other automations that you can do just yet with the SwitchBot lock oddly missing from the device list. So the hardware itself is solid and the app has all of the basics included and does those basics pretty well, but what about integrations with other platforms? Right now, this currently works with Amazon ALEXA and Google Home if you have the SwitchBot Hub Mini, both of which will allow you to control the SwitchBot lock with your voice and it will protect the unlocking with a pin code which you can set up in the app. Unfortunately, that's where the compatibility kind of ends for the SwitchBot lock, at least for the moment. No direct Home Assistant integration and no HomeKit integration quite yet. Now, as we know recently, Home Assistant got an update a few releases back that added excellent Bluetooth support, which everyone has been enjoying, including support for many SwitchBot devices. And I was kind of hoping that we would see support for the lock here too, but no such lock yet. Now the SwitchBot lock is included in the official SwitchBot API and I can see that there has been some updates very recently to adding the lock and fixing a couple of issues which do now seem to be resolved. So I can definitely see that they are working on adding it and I'm very hopeful that we will see this added in the next release or a couple of releases of Home Assistant 2. Being able to control the lock directly from Home Assistant would be a real game changer for this device. I'm pretty confident that we will see this device added in one way or another to Home Assistant as well as other platforms, whether that's through an official integration, a community integration, or something like a HomeKit update for the SwitchBot Hub or something like that. It's just a shame that right now that it is not currently possible out of the box. If and when support does get added, then I'll try and come back here and leave a comment down below. But as of right now, I really do like the hardware. I think that it's a nice bit of kit, not too expensive in comparison to some other smart locks, adapts to many different style of locks and doesn't interfere with using your regular key and lock if you want to have that option. But the software and more specifically the integration side does let it down a bit currently. But I am hopeful to see that change and I think that this will be a really killer lock for the money if we see an official Home Assistant integration for it, it will really be in a price category of its own. And that is about it for the SwitchBot lock. What do you guys think of it? I imagine many of you will be a little disappointed like myself not to see Home Assistant or HomeKit support, but probably like the hardware. So do let me know down in the comments if you have any other thoughts on it. Curious as always to hear your comments and I'm sure SwitchBot will also be reading the comments down below. So if you want to see that Home Assistant integration happen, then please make sure you're to let your voices be heard down below and hopefully SwitchBot will take on board our feedback and make those changes happen. Other than that, I hope you did in fact enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to drop this video a like and get subscribed and I will see you in the next video.